Dr. Jason Fung, a nephrology specialist and a proponent of intermittent fasting, critiques the traditional calories in, calories out model for weight loss. He argues that this model is overly simplistic and fails to consider the complex role of hormones in weight regulation. According to Dr. Fung, obesity is not merely a result of a lack of willpower or excessive calorie consumption. It is a hormonally driven condition. He points out that insulin, the hormone responsible for energy storage, is a key player in weight gain. High levels of insulin signal the body to store energy as fat, which contradicts the idea that weight gain is solely due to consuming more calories than are expended. While acknowledging the genetic component of obesity, Dr. Fung notes that genetics cannot fully explain the recent surge in obesity rates. He references twin studies that show a strong genetic link to obesity, with genetics accounting for about 70% of the risk. However, the genetic makeup of the population has remained relatively unchanged over the past few decades, suggesting that other factors are at play in the obesity epidemic. Dr. Fung emphasizes the significance of food choices and their hormonal consequences. Different foods elicit varying hormonal responses, which can affect energy storage and hunger. For instance, refined carbohydrates can cause a rapid insulin spike, leading to fat storage and subsequent hunger. In contrast, foods rich in protein and dietary fat can trigger satiety hormones, helping to regulate hunger and energy intake. Dr. Fung describes the calorie model as deceptive, arguing that it overlooks the body's adaptive responses to calorie restriction. When calorie intake is reduced, the body's metabolic rate can also decrease, making sustained weight loss challenging. This phenomenon contributes to the cycle of yo-yo dieting, where weight is lost and then regained, potentially leading to a slower metabolism over time. Insulin and leptin resistance are critical factors in weight management, according to Dr. Fung. Insulin resistance can lead to increased weight gain as high insulin levels prevent the body from accessing stored energy, causing persistent hunger. Leptin resistance disrupts natural hunger and satiety signals, contributing to overeating and weight gain. Restoring hormonal balance is essential for effective weight management. Dr. Fung suggests that controlling hunger and addressing hormonal imbalances are more effective strategies than calorie counting. He proposes intermittent fasting as a method to regulate insulin levels and promote fat loss by extending the period between meals. The food environment, characterized by an abundance of ultra-processed foods and high-carbohydrate, low-fat diets, plays a significant role in obesity. Dr. Fung argues that blaming individuals for their weight struggles ignores the environmental factors that influence food choices and hormonal responses. Dr. Fung introduces intermittent fasting as a weight loss tool that can lower insulin levels and facilitate fat burning. He dispels myths about fasting, such as the notion that it slows metabolism and presents evidence that it can actually increase metabolic rate. He also discusses various fasting protocols, demonstrating the versatility of intermittent fasting. Contrary to the common practice of eating frequent meals, Dr. Fung stresses the importance of meal timing and frequency in hormonal regulation. He suggests that the trend of constant snacking and multiple daily meals has led to hormonal imbalances and weight gain. By extending fasting periods and reducing meal frequency, the body can better utilize stored fat for energy. Fiber and protein play important roles in weight management by influencing nutrient absorption and hormonal responses. Fiber can moderate the absorption of carbohydrates, leading to a more gradual insulin release, while protein is essential, but should be balanced with a reduction in processed foods. Dr. Fung addresses the use of medications, such as GLP-1 receptor agonists, for weight loss. These medications can reduce appetite and promote weight loss through hormonal regulation. While effective, Dr. Fung emphasizes the importance of addressing the root hormonal imbalances through diet and lifestyle changes. Exercise is beneficial for overall health and fitness, but Dr. Fung points out that it is not the most effective tool for significant weight loss. The caloric expenditure from exercise is relatively small compared to dietary intake, and exercise can sometimes lead to increased appetite and compensatory eating. Dr. Fung discusses the potential for reversing type 2 diabetes through dietary changes. 
He challenges the conventional treatment with medication, advocating for a dietary approach that reduces carbohydrate intake and incorporates intermittent fasting. This can lead to improvements in type 2 diabetes, with some individuals achieving remission without medication. The emotional and psychological aspects of weight loss are also important. Dr. Fung talks about the impact of stress and cortisol on weight gain and the benefits of community support in reducing stress. He calls for a more compassionate approach to weight management, free from stigma and misconceptions. Dr. Fung hopes his work will help people reverse type 2 diabetes and change the narrative around weight loss. He is committed to promoting a deeper understanding of obesity, hormones, and diabetes, and bringing these concepts to a broader audience. In conclusion, Dr. Jason Fung's perspectives on weight management challenge conventional wisdom and emphasize the need to understand the hormonal effects of food. He advocates for intermittent fasting, proper meal timing, and addressing hormonal imbalances through dietary and lifestyle changes. His holistic approach to health and well-being has the potential to transform the way we view and treat obesity and type 2 diabetes.